So Keaton is trending right now. For those of you watching this video three months or later after this was uploaded, I will tell you who Keaton is because the world has most certainly forgotten by now. Keaton is a young boy from Knoxville, Tennessee, which is like Nashville, Tennessee, except there also had to be a Knoxville, Tennessee for some reason. And he's a victim of bullying. The southern kind, where they stuff ham in your clothes at school, because what the fuck? Do these bullies work at a butcher shop who has that much ham at the ready? Like, here he comes, quick, everybody break out all the ham you've got on you. Honestly, that's just a waste of their lunches. If I was a bully and I brought my lunch, I wouldn't go hungry just to shove it down someone's pants. If you're putting bullying before your own survival, you're pretty fucked up. But these bullies torment Keaton. They make fun of him. Just because his face looks like a bleached potato, they say mean things to him. He said they made fun of his nose, but I would have gone for his massive underbite. And he asks his mom to record a video of him and post it where he talks about what they do and how it's bad and why do they do it, and he tells other people going through bullying to stay strong and that it'll probably get better with age. I love that part. He says probably so flippantly. You guys have to stay strong because it'll probably get better with age. The thing is, there's nothing special about this video. It's the same basic stuff you've heard a million times, but it got 20 million views on Facebook in a day, and now it's trending everywhere and celebrities are going, no, you stay strong, Keaton, and the entire cast of the Avengers wants to take him to a movie premiere, because you know how that solves bullying, when the bullies learn that their victim has just gone and done this cool shit, and it makes them jealous, so naturally in their jealousy, they will totally just be quiet and not bully anymore. The bullies are the reason he gets to go. You think they're gonna take that shit long? lying down, and it doesn't even matter if his mom pulls him out of school. Every bully in America has heard this story now, and they'll treat it like a lottery. Ooh, I hope he comes to my school. Please get sent here. Please get sent here. My dad owns a farm. We have a shitload of ham. I wouldn't go so far as to call this a publicity stunt. Like, the kid just wants to highlight a problem he's facing and see it solved across the board. But this isn't the kind of thing that solves that. It's probably going to end up making things worse. Keaton has a target on his back for as long as people remember him, so hopefully it ain't for long. Like, this isn't going to turn into the hashtag me too of bullying, you know? Because bullies can't be prosecuted, although I would be interested in seeing victims publicly name their abusers in a similar fashion and just see if that does anything. Yo, if a ton of bullies bullies got expelled during a social media crackdown, that would be hilarious. Although we'd probably see a lot more school shooters for a while, so I guess you need to weigh that against the change you're trying to inflict. I just don't see this as having staying power of any kind. Like, 20 years from now, we're not all gonna reflect on the Keaton rallies of 2017 and how they solved people being mean to each other. In this world, you can be a victim, a bully, or neither. That's a choice you have, that you sometimes unfortunately make before you're old enough to realize you're making it. But but despite what you tell yourself, it's never too late to change that shit. If you want to stop being bullied, you first have to stop being a victim. Nobody ever advises fighting fire with fire, but in a battle of blazes, the bigger one envelops the smaller one. Sometimes you gotta punch some bitches in the face or get even some clever devious way. I assume you have the mental capacity for that. Smart kids are usually who get bullied by dudes who are threatened by their intelligence. But if you're a dumb victim, there's probably nothing to do for yourself, I'm sorry to say. You lost the genetics lottery and there's no getting your money back. If you believe in reincarnation, I suggest ending it all and going for another spin, though you might end up a small insect this time, so there's no guarantees. My biggest problem with bullying is the amateurity. These are children, and they are not fucking good at bullying. You're gonna pour milk on some kid's head? Where's the inspiration? You only think it's funny because you're idiots. If I was in school and someone did that to me, I would just stand there and look at them like this is your main event? Do you know what you've just wrought upon yourselves? All of you will be dead by your own hand by the end of the week. I'd suggest writing your wills now before the blood loss from your wrists makes you too dizzy to pull it off. Just fight fire with sadism. That usually works. You've seen Carrie, where the bullied girl gets supernatural powers and goes ham on her tormentors. That's a triumphant tale of demonic heroism right there. Obviously, I'm not advocating mass murder in response to victimization, but you can't deny it turns into a feel-good movie by the end. It's mostly cyberbullying that gets me, though. Like, how are you killing yourselves over someone typing nobody likes you on Facebook? 
The internet is where smart people are supposed to be comfortable. It's your domain. Why are you gonna let bitches say that shit to you when you have the meanest responses you can think of at your fingertips? You can't worry about physical retribution later. That's gonna happen anyway, and you know it. So you might as well fight back when you can and take a little bit of solace in the fact that you're at least sometimes standing up for yourself. I make light of bullying as an issue because it's a fixable one on an individual level that individual are all choosing not to fix, and I think counseling is in part to blame. No bullying victim has taken, turn the other cheek, or just ignore it, or laugh along with them, to heart and been like, thanks, that's changed everything. That shit only happens in Hallmark movies, which I assume is what so-called experts are studying for their information. No, yeah, the way to stop bullying is to bully yourself in front of the bullies. That'll confuse them so bad, they'll give up forever. Faculty don't give a shit about bullying. That's why telling a teacher or the principal never amounts to anything. They have a fruitless talk with the bully and call it handled. Here's what you really have to do in today's climate to get shit done. You go home, you tell your parents, and you tell your parents to make a giant fuss over it and threaten legal action against the school. The education system is already incorrigibly underfunded. No school in the world can handle a lawsuit. You will see that bully taken out of play. If your parents aren't the whiny dramatic type, this will sadly not help you. In which case, despite what I've said about it previously, taking the issue public is at least sure to get some kind of response. You might not get 20 million views, but call out your school and its principal or whoever's not doing anything by name. That's important. Name them for their negligence in handling the situation and demand something be done. Basically just slander the fuck out of your school until it picks up steam. I don't know if it'll work, but trying it's better than doing nothing. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe and whatnot, and I'll see you guys next time.